I'm building a new gravel bike because in an unfortunate occurrence my previous gravel bike got smashed um, as I did too. Anyway, that's another story. So I have bought a, a new frame and I'm building it up um, with Campagnola eCar. And it's a very modern frame. It's got kind of down tube storage, which I think I'll enjoy using, stashing tools and, and pumping stuff in there. Uh, and one of the new features it has, which is very current in 2025, it has a UDH derailleur hanger. The derailleur hanger um, is where you attach the derailleur to the frame and it has been notorious in for many years in that every single frame manufacturer and indeed individual models within manufacturer ranges have got different designs of derailleur hanger. So SRAM decided to try to unify the design, which is a worthy aim, and I guess they're big enough to make it stick. And in 2025, UDH is emerging as something, a bit of a must-have feature for new frames. So although it was originally intended for mountain bikes, it's spread into gravel frames like here and it's coming into road as well. So here's a UDH hanger. And here's an older proprietary design. I mean, it looks very different. UDH one is a bit bigger and chunkier. UDH hanger attaches to the frame with a chunky reverse threaded bolt. So here we go. That part comes out. And then there's this. The frame has to conform to the specifications produced given by SRAM. And it's to be firmly attached. This bolt wants 20 Newton meters of torque, which I won't give just now, but um, there you go. I guess the reverse threading means that when you screw in the through axle, the act of screwing in the through axle doesn't unscrew this bolt. One interesting feature of the UDH hanger is that this little prominent part here is meant to be able to re-rail the train onto the smallest sprocket if the train falls off the smallest sprocket to the outside. Another feature is that under impact on the derailleur, the UDH hanger can rotate slightly backwards. The idea being that would absorb the impact of something hitting the derailleur hard and hopefully prevent too much damage. For me, one of the nicest features of UDH is concerns the threads and through axle. Standardized threads, finally. M12 with a one millimeter pitch. So UDH, for me, it brings welcome standardization. And given the speed at which it is being adopted by many bike manufacturers, everyone else is glad to be able to kind of jump onto universal standard and stop having to worry about producing um, proprietary parts.